you're here in my bedroom today because some of you have requested an episode on how to organize your wardrobe. And because I kind of have lots of clothes and I don't really know what to do with them, I kind of need to have like a system. So here sharing some tips I practice um, when it comes to organizing my wardrobe. We have the first section of my room where I store my clothes. These two racks consist of my dresses. I was inspired to hang them because I was flipping through like a home decor magazine and one of the pages had like this bedroom with like racks of clothes and I was like, I want that too. So I went to Ikea and I bought like clothing racks. They're actually quite inexpensive. They're about like 20, 30 bucks. So anybody can have them. Um, but of course you must have idle space. And also a good thing about having racks in your bedroom is that you feel like you're shopping all the time. So it's like, what should I wear today? Uh, maybe I'll buy this. But actually it's mine. Uh -huh. So a thing I love to do because I'm kind of like a neat freak is to colour coordinate my clothes. What I like to do is separate the darks from the light. So in this rack, you see the darker hues like brown, um, green, uh, black, and then transition to blue. And in this rack, you see like the lighter, girlier, happy colours like pink, uh, red, um, yellow, and it goes on to white. So you see this part over here, it's kind of like a mumbo jumbo. It's like lots of colours and prints and why they not organised? Because I kind of like buy lots of clothes at once and then I don't have a chance to wear them so I always hang them up and say like this is a reminder to myself um, to wear these clothes uh, before I buy new ones but I do buy new ones in the end and this part just keeps going. This is actually a walk-in wardrobe um, that my parents built for me. So these are my shorts, uh, these are my tops and then my jackets go from here to here and then my skirts are actually inside. These are like my pants and at the bottom are like home clothes. And I can always find what I need because they're colour coordinated firstly and uh, they're sorted according to style. So if I'm looking for a pink top, I know I can look at this side of the wardrobe and uh, see all my tops and like my pinks over here. And because I have lots of winter clothing which are really bulky, so I like to store them in vacuum bags. So you can see on top here, I have quite a bit of vacuum bags um, to store all my winter clothing. So what you do of course when you want to vacuum bag your clothes is to have a vacuum cleaner and uh, you just take out the head and you're just left with this. I fold my winter jackets first and then I put it into this vacuum bag. So now I'm going to start the vacuuming process. What you need to do is every vacuum bag comes with this small little clipper over here. What this does is that it helps assist you in um, securing the zip lock. So you like zip as much as you can and then you leave a small opening for the vacuum tube. Make sure it's securely fastened and just vacuum it. There you have it! Look how much space is minimised. And the great thing about vacuum bags is they not only reduce space because they suck out all the air, but they also help to maintain the freshness of your clothes. Because if you have lots of winter clothing and you expose them to air, and it's, the air is very humid, like Singapore for example, your clothes will get mouldy. Because I have lots of clothes and it's impractical to vacuum bag everything, so I get like this dehumidifier which you can get from NTUC cold storage. Uh, what it does is that it reduces humidity in the air around your clothes. Uh, so your clothes won't get mouldy and it won't like develop like odour. So you see my wardrobe, like I fold like nearly like 80 and 90% of it. I try to keep them like outside. I don't hide anything inside. So let's say like this stack, I don't put any more clothes behind it because if you want to get clothes inside, you have to take this out and then you have to like take the other side out and you have to put this back. It's really very troublesome. I mean, what are you trying to hide unless you're trying to hide money? Yeah, sometimes I do secretly think about that. Like, what if robbers come into my room? So where do I hide my money? My clothes. Now we've come to the more unsightly things like your underwear, which I'm trying my best not to show you guys. What I did was to buy this makeshift shelf because if not, there'd be so much wasted space over here. In this makeshift shelf, I saw like my bikinis over here, um, socks, towels, um, my underwear, and like inner slips. This is from Ikea as well. Um, very inexpensive again, probably less than 10 bucks. I like this makeshift shelf because um, I don't have lots of drawers to store like the more unsightly things. My drawers are actually used to store like even more unsightly things like my sanitary pads, so 
Every once in a while, you kind of need to declutter your wardrobe or take out things that you don't really wear. Whenever I watch all these home organizational shows, they always tell the viewers to like clear out their wardrobe once in a year. And I'm like, that's bullshit. Alright, but if you follow that logic right, then I have to throw away like 90% of my wardrobe because I keep buying new clothes. What you do is that you try to take out like clothes that you feel like you've overgrown or you've not worn for a couple of years, not one year. One year is just impractical. And another thing that you can do to uh, get rid of the clothes that you don't want anymore is to conduct fleas. You can just rent booths at concurrent fleas that are happening every weekend or sell them online. There's a quite a popular Android iPhone application called Carousel. All you need to do is just snap a picture of your item, post it online and people will just like bid for it. So besides organizing my wardrobe space, I also organize my jewelry and accessory space. I'm very big on compartmentalization. I like to go to Daiso and Ikea and buy lots of boxes. What I like to do is also buy clear, transparent um, compartments as well so that it's very easy for you to find your things afterwards. So um, for this clear, transparent box, it stores my sunglasses. I have my necklaces, my beaded necklaces. And over here, I have my earrings and my watches. There are other ways you can organize your wardrobe as well. One way is to buy a cork board and then you can just like hang your necklaces on it and secure it with a thumbtack. Alternatively, you can buy a jewelry organizer which you can hang behind your door. Personally, I don't like to hang my accessories out or I don't like to expose them to the air because they rust and tarnish very easily. I like to store my accessories in individual plastic compartments and these plastic bags are actually very inexpensive. 200 pieces of these plastic ziplocks will probably cost you $5 and you can get them um, at like, you know, those below those HDB shops um, where they sell like all those rubber bands and plastic bags. We've come to the end of the episode and I think to sum it up, the most important point is to try and maximise as much space as you can. Buying boxes and compartments or even buying makeshift shelves which are all very inexpensive by the way. If you have your own suggestions on how you organise your wardrobe, do leave a comment in the comment box below or leave a comment on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the F word. And I'll See you next time. Bye!